Now, let's take you live to the Ed Sullivan Theater in New York City, where Stephen Colbert is starting a very special live post-Super Bowl broadcast of The Late Show. Boomer, that man needs a football. You got it, JB. Heads up, Stephen. Whoa. Oh. Thanks, Boomer. Let's do this. Tonight, I am proud to say we are live from the Ed Sullivan Theater here in New York City. I'm your quarterback, Stephen Colbert. And I just want to thank everybody at home for sticking with us or for losing the remote in a bowl of queso dip. Either way, I'm grateful you're still here. It is an honor to follow the Super Bowl, especially Super Bowl 50, because that's a milestone. Yeah, that's right. Because now, the Super Bowl gets to join AARP. That's, um... <laughs> yeah, you get that. That's discount movie that's tickets, discount. bus rides, everything. And because we are broadcasting live tonight, I could do anything. <laughs> and... Yeah. You know that. Yeah. Everything. You can anything. do anything. You can do anything. Oh, there you go. It's like, wide open. And CBS has a team of lawyers standing by to make sure that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing here. It was not an Can't blur that. <laughs> Let's get to it. We've got an amazing show for you tonight. From Whiskey, Tango, Foxtrot, Tina Fey, and Margot Robbie are here. Right back to hey. Lovely. Man. From Zoolander 2, the great Will Ferrell will be joining us. <laughs> and from the upcoming film, Keanu, Key, and Peele will be on the show this evening. I'm very excited about this. I'll be joined by Donald Trump's kryptonite, Megyn Kelly, right over there. <laughs> of course, like a lot of people, like, I'm sorry, I got it in my blood right now. Like a lot of people, after every Super Bowl, I like to work off some of that nacho weight by tossing around the old pig skin, okay? The lacy burrito. Mm -hmm. The dimple brown taco magnet, all right? So let's get straight out to somebody. Let me, who am I gonna hit here? Uh, let's, let's go straight to you, uh, the man in the camo. Nice pass, Steven. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Landers in the U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division in Afghanistan. Let me ask something. Did, uh, did you guys watch the Super Bowl? Actually, we were a few time zones ahead, so we watched it nine hours ago. Of course. <laughs> what was I thinking? Um, did you guys have any kind of Super Bowl party, order some pizza? Well, Papa John's doesn't deliver to Kandahar, so we went ahead and made a seven-layer dip. Well, that's cool. What's, uh, what's the recipe? The bottom layer is salsa. The top six layers are dust. Mm. That sounds good. Save me some of that. Well, thank you, sir. And to you and all those serving overseas, please stay safe. Boom. All right, all right. This next one, next one, I have to warm up a little bit. This one, one's a bit of a Hail Mary. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> Astronaut Scott Kelly at the International Space Station. Scott, Scott Messi, did you folks up there watch the game? We absolutely did watch the game up here, Stephen, and it was a great view from our skybox. Well, uh, do you do any kind of Super Bowl party? Do you make a big batch of chili or something? Well, chili, uh, we wouldn't make chili because it's not like we can crack a window up here. I, I get your drift, Scott. Um, all right, do you, do you think you can throw me a spiral from up there? 
I can throw you a spiral. I can try at least. <laughs> Woo! Okay. All right. I hope he's okay. I've lost the feed and uh, apparently the ball. Uh, <laughs> do we know where it is? Do we know? Is it just floating out in space someplace? Where is it? Who's got the ball? Thanks. Thanks, Chewie. <laughs> He's shedding. You know, that guy would make a good linebacker or a, a great mascot. Okay, we got time for one more. I can't quite see who it is. You uh, in the back, the tall guy with the really big ears. Nice answer. President Obama! Did you watch the game, sir? Of course I did. After every Super Bowl, I call the winning team to congratulate them. And sometimes I also call the losing team, especially if I bet on them. Sir, I hate to break this to you, but betting is illegal. <laughs> I'm the president. I hereby pardon myself. Okay, fair enough. So, sir, what was your favorite part of tonight's game? Uh, probably when the winning team sealed the deal with the touchdown, thanks to the guy who was really good. Sir, that's, that's incredibly vague. Are, are you sure that you watched the game? Well, look, you caught me. This is not actually live. This is a pre-tape we shot last week. <laughs> Sir, with all due respect, I've made a really big deal about the fact that this is a live show tonight. I've, I really find it hard to believe that you are pre-taped. All right, I'm gonna prove it to you. Come on out here. Hey, man, <laughs> good luck with the live show. That's a lot of pressure. Glad I'm not you. You see? Okay, I stand corrected. Um, <laughs> so, let me get this straight. You don't even know who won the game, sir? No, I didn't say that. Of course I do. It was the Denver Broncos. What? How, if it's a pre-tape, how could you possibly know that? Steven, I am the president. And it turns out all the Super Bowl winners for the next 50 years are written on the back of the Constitution. <laughs> That's the plot of National Treasure 3. Sir, there is no National Treasure 3. <laughs> That's what you think there will be. The script is on the back of the Declaration of Independence. Well, uh, well, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for joining us even by pre-tape, sir. Uh, but uh, now I'm afraid I'm, I'm gonna need that ball back. Absolutely. Get ready, I'm gonna put some mustard on this one. <clears throat> Ooh, uh-oh. All right, everybody, let's move. I want to see your very best Super Bowl touchdown dance. Come on. Excuse me, who is throwing a football in the White House? Ooh. 